In every emergency, look to see if there's some advantage for your prince, Thomas. Oh, cherries. Oh, how did I do that, I wonder? <laughs> Here, take. Now, in this current emergency, it will be to me that Pope Clement looks to oh, keep Christendom together. So, suppose if I were to travel to France and gather together the cardinals in a council, you know, to conduct the business of the church in the Pope's absence. Now, if this business just happened to include the king's private matter, might we not rule on it? And voila, the King of England will be a bachelor. What? <sighs> not more gossip from the silk merchants. Rumor is the King has moved from Mary Boleyn to her flat-chested sister. <laughs> Anne? <laughs> she hasn't forgiven you for that business with Harry Percy. No. Cavendish tells me she's sworn vengeance on you. Poor chit of a girl. The king will have her in his bed by summer. By autumn, he'll tire of her and pension her off. 